Hey everyone, Canadian Trucker here. Today we're just outside of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, Illinois. Missouri, I think. Kind of right on the line. I-55, south of St. Louis, north of uh, Memphis. That's where we're headed. Um, today, LRP Long Range Patrol. This is a 1998 menu for Chicken a la King. This was sent to me by Salty Croc Collectibles like two years ago. We're finally getting around to uh, to taking a look at this. It's a 1998, um, we think anyway, there's no date on the bag. These have an inspection date of 10 years, so 2008. So it's actually not that crazy to think this might still be good. Um, yeah, LRP, freeze dried ration. Warnick Company, McAllen, Texas. Warnick, I believe, is out of Ohio now, but tear into it. These ones have a little different uh, tear notch. It's got this little tab here, and we'll just open her up. There we have it. These are a lot lighter than a regular MRE. kind of think these are eight-hour rations as well. I'm not sure. First LRP I'm ever, I've ever opened up. Smells like chocolate. Right off the bat, oatmeal cookie, chocolate covered. Back date 8260, so this is 1998. There's a freeze dried main, chicken ala king. A little different packaging than we have in the MCWs nowadays. Beverage base powder orange, brand flake bar. Something packaged candies. Nothing else on there. Candies. Got a regular MRE spoon. They've been using these since like what? 89, 91? Something like that. Accessory packet. That smells good. 1998. So you get two packs of toilet paper. So this must be a 12 hour ration. So we got a Taster's Choice Coffee. Non-dairy creamer, four grams of sugar. So we also got white tip matches, pack of green gum, some iodized salt. And that's everything. So we gotta add 12 to 14 ounces of hot water to this one. There's only one tear notch and it's kind of down below. So we're gonna cut it from the top. And we'll see if we got a hiss. seen this before I just kind of forgot inside we have another pouch now I should have really watched somebody else's review of one of these more recently um, yeah because now we have this we have this This has a piece of tape on it, so we're going to peel that off. So now we have another one of these. Well, good thing I didn't dump that all over myself. Okay. Then the bag opens up. As such, it's greasy. Kind of got a greasy feel. Look at that. That smells really good. Okay, so... Now do we pour that into here, you think? Put this into there. Fuck. I kind of want to shut the camera off and ask some of my friends here, what in the hell I'm supposed to do with this? And that's a ton of food, by the way. So because I have a recently emptied Kleenex box, I tore the top off. I'm setting this in here. This is the most half-assed LRP review you're ever going to see. Like I said, I should have watched one of these recently and I haven't. So we're going to pour the water right into the bag. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. That's what it looks like in there. Um, going to let that sit and rehydrate. Says five minutes. We'll get to it when we get to it. Put a clip on it. Okay, I had water to mixing bag. Would that be this? Is this the mixing bag? 
orange drink still feels pretty good. Add that into 12 ounces of water. That smells like straight up Kool-Aid. That smells really good. And it's kind of a different sandier consistency to it. Almost like really fine, uh, like uh, crumbs from toast. That smells, that takes me back to my childhood big time. That smells totally different than today's orange drink. Shag her up. Try our Bran Flake bar. Bran Flake cereal bar may be crumbled and hydrated with a small amount of water. You want to make cereal out of it. There it is. Just a compressed far compressed bar full of bran. It smells exactly like a compressed bar of bran would smell. I'm not kidding. It smells really good. And that tastes really good too. Um, I've only ever really eaten raisin bran, which we have in Canada. I think you guys have down in the States here. Um, tastes exactly like that would taste minus the raisins. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's see what these are. Candies. Hope it's not Skittles. Wouldn't you know it was Skittles? Son of a bitch. I thought it was M&M's or something. I really did. Um, punk ass Skittles. They feel fine. And I'm not gonna eat these. I'm gonna save these because these would be just a waste. These are from 1998. I'm not gonna eat them. Um, I don't wanna open them just to throw them out. This is a pretty neat ration. So we're gonna keep these Skittles. And keep them right in with our candies that they came in and I'll figure out something to do with those later. So the orange drink's not mixing real well. It's got quite a head on it. Some crap at the bottom. Shake her up again. In the meantime, let's have another bite of this. I can't say anything bad about this. I mean, it's a little bit dry. It's a freaking bran bar. What do you expect? Just, it's not crazy sweet but it's got enough sweetness that it's, you know, palatable or whatever. It's very crumbly. You bite into it and it just kind of crumbles in your mouth. You're not hurting your teeth eating it whatsoever. That's good, the last bite. That's awesome. All right, so we got our chicken a king. I just stirred it up and give it a little bit of a taste test there real quick. We're going, it looks nasty in here. Get her onto our tray. Look at this heaping plate. This is crazy. No way I'm eating all this today. I'll be putting some of this in the fridge. Maybe I'll have it tomorrow. So we got tons of these noodles. You got chicken, uh, peppers. You got green onion or some kind of green thing. Maybe that's more peppers. All in kind of a little gravy sauce. Go for it. That's really good. I mean, you always hear the stories about Chicken Ella King being nasty or whatever. I had it in an MRE, like a 92 MRE, at the uh, MRE meetup we had, where I actually met Salty Croc Collectibles, a very nice fella. Um, and I liked it then too. This is awesome. Like, it's very noodly, mostly noodles but the flavor's great. I'd eat this any day. So that orange juice still is doing something weird. We're gonna try it. it smells fine. It 
tastes really good. It's just there's just some stuff down there that won't dissolve. How can let that stop us today? Damn good orange drink. The part we've all been waiting for. Steve 1989's favorite component out of any ration, I believe. That's still the case. Seems to be perfect. Judging by everything else, probably is going to be perfect. 210 calories. No guess. Look at that. Yep. Those are real good. Chocolate's pretty soft. I don't know if it's just because it's kind of getting warm in here. Uh, it's like 60 degrees today. Heat wave. Kind of a darker taste, darker tasting chocolate. There it is. 1998 LRP Chickenella King. This is an absolute 10 out of 10. There is a guy on eBay right now selling a full case of 1998 LRPs for $350 plus $50 shipping. $400, you get 16 of these. And uh, you know, these are kind of meal and a half things that are big meals. I'm gonna buy one. I mean, 1998, I don't know if they're gonna have held up as good as this one, but the fact this one is so damn awesome, I'm gonna take the chance and uh, and buy those if they're still up there. They've been up there for weeks. Last night I was looking at them. The fact I tried this now, somebody probably just bought it as I was eating this, but we'll see. If we do, I might do an unboxing of that and just show you what all 16 menus were in 1998. Vince, thank you very much. Salty Croc Collectibles. This menu is fantastic. And uh, Corey, thanks for pushing me for as long as I've known you to eat this damn thing. Um, absolutely spot on. Thanks for coming, everybody. We'll see you next time.